Hallo, ich heiße Christian und Daniel. Und wir kosten Kartoffelsuppe, Nudeln mit Tomate und Rotkruze Dessert. So für die non-German speakers, we're going to be making potato soup. Um, wir haben Butter, Geflügelblü, Kartoffeln, Seen, Pfeffer, Lorbeer und Kummel. Für die non-German speakers, wir haben 20 Gramm Butter, 2 Liter Chicken Broth, 800 Gramm Potatoes, 250 Milliliter Heavy Whipping Cream, and then a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, pinch of dill for flavor, and two bay leaves to put while we cook the broth. And here for the science aspect of cooking, we have an example of conduction occurring inside of a pot. Uh, because heat is uh, being put onto the pot from the bottom, it is calling a cycle uh, inside of the pot with the chicken broth, causing the uh, hot broth to rise to the top and the cold broth, or the colder broth, to sink to the bottom that's causing a circle or convection. Now Daniel will take over. Um, so, conduction is also occurring with the pot because the pot is touching the stove, which, and the pot is touching the soup, so the heat is conducted through the stove to the pot, from the pot to the stove to the soup. And that occurs with conduction of heat. And then also there's a radiation happening because as the heat transfers from the stove, from the heat, um, Point, it goes through the glass that is covering the that is covering it and goes to the pot and causing radiation of heat to go to the pot which also then conduction brings it to the because water has a high specific heat capacity of one it takes longer for our chicken broth to reach a boiling point of 100 degrees celsius thus causing us to have to wait longer for it to be ready so as christian's pouring in the salt the salt is um, a sodium chloride compound ionic compound with the electrons of the chloride matching with the sodium electrons causing them to bond. As he's pouring it into the broth, they are separating because they are an ionic bond and, it, and when placed in water, ionic bonds will separate. So we have our potatoes in here in the blender mixing with the cream. And here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Right now we're just going to pour what we mixed back into a broth. Potato soup being done, we can now add lemon juice, dill, or mustard to it to your liking. And because lemon juice has a pH of 2, if we were to add it to our soup, which is a base, at some point in between we would get um, a pH level of 7 or neutral, just like water. So now we're going to plate it. So what you do is commonly what they'll do is they'll add a bit of dill to the whole thing. And then you can add more if you want. The one thing that the Germans commonly do is they'll take some smoked salmon and they'll put it on the side. 